Hi, I'm Doree from QBooks Consulting. I'm a QuickBooks Certified Pro Advisor, and today I'm going to show you how to memorize transactions in QuickBooks. Do you have entries that are repeated on a regular basis, like monthly car leases or insurance payments? Instead of re-entering a transaction each time, why not use QuickBooks Memorize Transaction feature to remind you that the entry has to be entered and also posted for you? Here I have a check for the monthly group insurance ready to be posted. But before I save it, click on Edit, click on Memorize Check, or whatever type of transaction this would be. Give the transaction a name that best describes what the entry is for. I'm going to call this Group Insurance. Click on Add to my Reminders list. In the How Often line, choose the frequency that this transaction occurs, such as daily, weekly, or monthly. We're going to choose monthly, as this transaction happens monthly. Then choose the next date that you want this entry to be posted on. This is a monthly occurrence, so we're going to choose January 31st as the next date. Click OK, and you are done. Now, whenever you open your company file, a reminders list will display all your memorized transactions. When memorizing any transaction, you also have an option of having the entries posted automatically into QuickBooks. So let's save another transaction, but instead of clicking on Add to My Reminders list, click on Automate Transaction Entry. Once again, choose how often this transaction occurs. Again, this is monthly. Choose the next date, January 31st. You can also choose the number of payments remaining, such as 36 for a 36-month car lease. This is extremely helpful when trying to remember how many payments are left on your lease or loan. Next, enter a number in the days in advance to enter. This is for QuickBooks to know when to actually post these entries. We'll post in 5 and then click OK. Next time you re-enter your QuickBooks file, a message pops up informing you which transactions will automatically be entered into QuickBooks. Should you not want a particular transaction to be posted, simply untick it. Let us retick this again. Next, if you click on Enter Check Now, only the ticked items will be posted. Or you have a choice to click Enter All Later to post them at another time. On the next QuickBooks tip, I'll show you how to manage the memorized lists you have created. I hope you found this QuickBooks Quick Tip useful. To get the most out of your QuickBooks software, visit my website at www.qbooksconsulting.ca.